Recently I went to the MIT Media Lab. Um, they were having a Google Glass design sprint. It was an opportunity to check out Google Glass and it was presented by Google and it was free and you just able to sign up online and learn about their new Google Glass technology. Um, the night before they introduced you to Google Glass. You got to try it on, learn how to navigate with it, which is a brand new experience for me. <laughs> um, a lot of voice commands. And then the next night you came back and you had ideas for apps that you would make for Google Glass. Um, and then you were assigned to different teams, and these teams were made up of professionals in the industry um, where they design software, they write apps, there were people who worked at the MIT Media Lab, and they are working on different things for Google Glass, um, for the medical field especially, um, for scientists who are going out and measuring things in the wild. And Google was really um, pushing Glass to be something that you can use hands-free and you use to interact with the world around you versus um, a computer or a phone where you're interacting with what's on the computer or the phone. So it's a 3D experience. Um, so once I got to the MIT Media Lab for the design sprint, we met up with our team. They gave a quick presentation on what the capabilities of Glass were um, and how we were going to design the interface for it. Um, we had a basic case, a use case scenario where it was um, a person who was a, a hiker and he was a former surgeon and we decided what would be most important for him. So we were designing for the client, which is a really um, useful mindset to be in um, because Anytime you're creating something, it's always going to be for the client or for a certain situation. You're not just trying to have fun with it and see what's going on. Um, so we ended up um, designing an app for this person, um, and then we were all well, the different teams were able to get up and present um, the different apps that they had. And then the next night, they had a hackathon where the programmers would come in and actually code and create those apps within about six to eight hours. Um, and these were people who have long day jobs, and they're doing software engineering and hard work. And then they would come over for free to work from like 7 PM until about 2 o'clock in the morning in Cambridge and just try to bang these apps out and get them out there and it's it's a really fun and exciting time and um, they were very welcoming and it wasn't intimidating at all and yeah everybody was just really nice and I learned a lot. So, so what's this picture here? Um, this is a picture of our team's effort. Um, they assigned, um, they gave us all different color post-it notes and we were supposed to come up with our ideas for the apps. A quick 10 minute brainstorm and then after we had our 10 minute brainstorm we went up to a whiteboard here and put up uh, our ideas um, and the higher up they were the harder they were for us to code. Um, and so then we had the easy to code ideas down at the bottom like a calendar and we ended up filling it up with um, our ideas and we put our use case up here and um, we it was really helpful for us to start um, organizing our ideas to see them all up on the board and everybody in the group was actually really great about being democratic and we finally ended up voting on an idea and then we're, we were able to get to work and code that so Nice. Yeah. The colors are, 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 are. Oh, so each color is a team member. Um, apparently the blue team member only <laughs> got a few ideas up there, and then a pink was another team member, orange and green. Um, and yeah, it was kind of like a, a graph setup where, yeah, harder to code, easier to code. And I think this was more useful to the client's life, least useful, but still fun. Um. Group dynamics are kind of tricky. Yes. Um, can you talk about ground rules you laid to make sure that the um, the it was a fair type of experience and everybody had fun and, and were productive as opposed to um, just advocating for your idea? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think what really helped is almost everybody there, they were entrepreneurial or they were CEOs of their own company or CIOs. And so being in those kinds of roles, they already um, had a lot of the personal skills to be able to step back to let somebody talk or jump in when they were needed. Um, and it was all amazingly self-regulated in each team. They had never met each other before. Um, and they were all people from different fields who had just signed up and were now working together very quickly. Um, one thing that was very helpful though is um, the Google 
team up there is they gave us each only maybe like five or ten minutes to do something where normally you would want about maybe an hour to do like okay come up with you know 20 ideas for an app you have literally you know five minutes to do it and you're just racing because you're so focused on the task you're not going to be you know, getting in trouble with the other people and then when it came time to um, put stuff up on the board and decide what ideas we were doing the group really uh, naturally self-selected by personality and one or two people really became the leaders and they just kind of it naturally flowed in that direction some people stepped back a little bit and then other people would advocate for their ideas but there was just um, I, I think there was just a general enjoyment that we were just at the media lab we're all just having a fun time and nobody was uh, overly aggressive and it was just um, that baseline of respect just made everything really smooth <laughs> You don't have to wait for somebody to tell you that you are allowed to do something in some cases, like if it's illegal, obviously, you know, you can't do it. But um, there were many things where I wish I knew about things like meetup groups from meetup.com. You can sign up. You don't have to be 21 years old for many of them. And a high school student could have gone to the school class thing. It's totally fine. There's so much out there in the world that you can participate in, and nobody is going to ask you to do it, but you can offer your interest in it and you might actually be invited. There are so many fun things out there in the world and you don't have to wait for somebody to ask you to do it. Taking your own initiative with your parents' permission um, can be exhilarating and you get out of your comfort zone. It can be a little scary, but when you overcome those fears and you go out to a meetup group for something at Google, a high school student would be allowed to do that with their parents' permission. And it's amazing. You could even take your parent with you if they were, were interested in going. And a lot of these events are free. There's so much out there um, in the world for you to explore. And I would say if you're worried about being intimidated by oh, are there going to be business people here and they won't want me there? Especially what I've seen in the tech scene in Cambridge and Boston, it's very, very welcoming. And if you have the enthusiasm and you're working on your own apps and you, maybe you're using something like Team Treehouse or Code Academy and you're learning your own code, um, get out there. You know, people just, they love the enthusiasm. They love to see that you um, have your own mindset and that you um, are willing to work on a project without somebody telling you you have to do this project that more than anything is what is going to get you further out in life having that intellectual curiosity and acting on it um, being respectful towards other people obviously but you know just constantly pushing yourself forward and yeah, overcoming any um, nerves you have. Get up and give a talk somewhere um, at any of these meetups. You really can do that. It, it just it feels like, oh, maybe I'm not allowed to. It, you know, as long as your parents say you can go to this thing, once you're at the group, there's so much you can really do. And a lot of them, they don't take huge time commitments. A lot of it's free. Um, so definitely check out meetup.com for any of your interests. Um, see what groups are going on. And even at your own high school, um, there are so many things you can do, not just to look good on a college application, but for your own fun or interest. Um, maybe you're really into playing the guitar and there isn't some sort of musical group or whatever. Maybe you could start some sort of guitar club. and maybe some people say oh you're such a dork or whatever whatever you know don't worry about it like you know just get out there and everything because once you get about above like you know 20 21 years old or so and some people um, get to a certain maturity level they'll think that's really cool that you you know spearheaded something that you ran a project and you'll learn so much from the different project management stuff that you're doing um, and it'll just it'll serve you and it'll make your life so much richer and you know it might be that'll add value to other people too because then hey now my school is this cool group that I can join so whether you're just in your school or going you know into town into Boston with your parents or something there there's a lot out there that um, you can actually do in the real world right now whether it's internships or making your own projects you know constantly and you know, try to make your own stuff and you'll go really really far if you um, apply yourself to completing projects that you come up with on your own and start working with, with others now so live like an adult now as much as you can. My name is Carrie McDonald, and I give permission to put this on the web. Thank you.